it's gotten Garnett more inside, which has increased his rebound numbers again. Bynum on a nice pass from Gasol. Tributed, but would be playing in their first postseason. Bryant over Steve Smith. Bynum right there for the final. Defense by Blake, and before he hit Bryant on a little spin out, Steamsma comes over there to block, which takes his body off Bynum. And there's no chance, if you know, the offensive play of everybody has dropped. Uh, you know, right now, Jeremy Lin has not played uh, as well offensively. Either has Anthony Stoudemire. Oh, Bynum, nice tip in over Garnett. They lost their first three, then won four, then lost five. They've had streaks where they've won 10 of 12, then lost seven of eight. Bynum, nice post move. The thing that impresses me about Bynum in the post is his patience right now. Faces up, then goes into his back end game. Bass does a great job of contesting, but Bynum's just too big. And too nice layup from Avery Bradley. You want to watch somebody play defense. It's Bynum, oh, nice pass from Blake, and Bynum with the finish. Second unit is playing well. It's because Andrew Bynum is getting a lot of touches in the low post here. Great jumper, and then the roll to the rim. Great hands, great finish. Yeah. Meanwhile, Andrew Bynum off to a great start. And he's just too so big. Look here, great block out, the length. And then the follow. This is where the Lakers bigs are so hard. If you drive the ball and your bigs have to help and come off the Laker big body, it's second shot. This is a jump shot that, that is really nice. And then I really like his improved patience in the post. Here, three defenders come to him. Late in the clock, does a nice job of finding gallon half of play. I really like it when he's ducking in. He's such a big target there. The dunk. And then this is where they're really hard to deal with, where Bryant brings the second defender, and even on the miss, he's able to tip the ball in and get second shots. And here's where he's grown. The post game, the patience. As a player, college and pro, two championships with the Houston Rockets. Did a great job. Allen as well. Bynum against Garnett. Nice power move from Bynum. Just under a minute and a half remaining. Here, Salmo's got his fingertips on that one. Bryant the drive, lobs it in to Bynum. Oh, he put it in. What a difficult play. Looks like he was pushed from behind. I agree. I thought it should have been a three-point play opportunity. Great penetration by Bryant to throw it up. And tremendous dexterity by Bynum as he's getting fouled from behind to be able to catch it. What length. Oh, a terrific hands just to get those fingertips on it. Oh, terrific play from Bynum. 18 points, 14 rebounds. One-point game here in L.A. Controlling. This is a seven-footer doing this, Jeff. Great play by Bryant to draw the second defender. And it, it's not appeared to be fouled. He was fouled. It just wasn't called. Good play by both Bryant and against a great contest. And look at the pass here to Bynum. And that's great athleticism by Bynum to be able to control the ball and get it. Michael Petrus is on Bryant. Pierce on World Peace. Bynum catches deep, puts it up, drops it in. Andrew Bynum puts the Lakers up three. And the Celtics call timeout. 20 points, 14 rebounds for Andrew Bynum. And now with 15.5 remaining, Celtics will have the ball needing three to tie. Andrew Bynum right from the start of an aggressive game. Boston basketball when we return. Andrew Bynum, meanwhile, his career season continues. Another terrific game for Bynum, now an all-star as Kobe Bryant Gives his young center a hug, and Bryant now with Lisa Salter. Thanks, Mike. Kobe, you were just saying that that play out of the timeout for Andrew, your play, tell me about it. Man, look, every, everybody in here thought it was coming to me. And, you know, Andrew has improved so much. And I felt like it's important to trust him in that situation and throw the ball to him. I mean, they, they had a hard time dealing with him all night long, and uh, decided to give it to him, and he went to work. What did you say to him before before you went back out on the court? Oh, I told him, I said, oh, we're going to come to you. I said, we're not going to do this play right here. We're going to come to you. We're going to post you. 
you know, be strong. If they come in double, make the easy play. If they don't, do what you do. The hug that you guys had at the end of the game, what, what were you saying to him just post-game just well, now? I mean, it, it, was, it was big for him because that was the first time we've ever trusted him in that situation. And, uh, you know, I mean, he was excited to be in that position. And, you know, it was just, uh, it was just a good moment. Describe what this is going to do for his confidence. He was telling me about a week ago that just being healthy, knowing that he has the pressure on him to perform, has really meant a lot to him. What do you think this is going to do for him confidence-wise, knowing that you called the play for him? Yeah. Well, I think he'll do wonders for his confidence. I mean, he's, he's been getting better and better every game. And, uh, you know, to come through in a clutch against a great defensive player like Garnett, you know, I think it's just really going to give him a great boost. All right, thanks, and congratulations to you.